I sold a client a watch. The watch came through me, passed my check, it gets to my client, and the authorized dealer lets them know a lot of unfortunate news. Apparently it wasn't a 2022, it was a 2006. The factory bezel wasn't a factory bezel. The dial was a dial swap. They basically scared my client, pissed her off, made me look really bad. This is why you should not trust what your AD tells you. One, because they don't know shit. I have some hesitations. I need to know if that bezel is factory, if that dial is swap, what year that watch is. Bezel looks OG. That was original because they're single cut stones. Bezel looks good. Let's take a, a guess on the year range without seeing the card. 2019 plus. Tell me what you think about that watch. That was original for sure. It is? Yeah. Okay. You can tell by the lettering. No imperfections or anything. I will say this is original. We're going to get some answers as to why somebody's trying to tarnish my reputation. You're going to get in his truck and you're going to film us. Keep the mic going so you're picking up the audio. Look, I'm going like drug rate. Yeah. We didn't open the inside, but definitely the dial and the bezel are not original. How can you tell? I just sold a lot of watches. Really? Yeah. But a watchmaker didn't pull any of this apart and verify any of that? 25 years of time. I actually know a lot more about that watch than you do. Problem with this is I'm a secondary market dealer and I do a lot of this stuff. If you don't take watches apart, and you didn't pull the movement off that watch, how can you validly tell her that's a fake, that's an aftermarket bezel? Hello? Hey, it's Anthony Fair. Uh, hi, Anthony, how are you doing? I'm good, man, how are you? I'm good. I have a client in the office right now that's possibly interested in the Vacheron 5500V you've got with us. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, so we have had that watch in here a little about a month uh at thirty six thousand. we haven't had much interest at least not that price yet so i wanted to call and see where we can get to so i can make an offer to him um are you willing to reduce the price any do you want to just keep waiting i want i just want to call fill you out and see where you're at on this right now um like I said, uh, I'm not looking to lose too much on that watch. I have a wiggle room at about a, a couple more thousand maybe on it. A couple more uh, thousand, okay. I think we've got this. You were in before the New Year, so you're in at 6% on consignment. Let's see, we drop it down to 34. It's a $2,040 fee. You're going to be out the door. If we can get it at 34, you're going to be out the yeah. door at 31960 yeah, if we, uh, if we can make that happen, let's do it. That's okay. All right, let me work on it, and I will stay in touch, and I'll let you know. I appreciate you. Thanks. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. Take care. Have you looked at everything? You good? Yeah, I looked at it. It's, yeah, because I've been trying to chase one at retail. It's crazy, how, really it's crazy how high these things got. Yeah, and they also were crazy at fast drop, too. <laughs> and then let me know on any of the other pieces that your guys may have the paddock the 5990 you said you had you possibly interested in that one yeah um sure sure just shoot me texts with pictures and everything of stuff you're probably you're interested in trading in yeah um and i'll give you prices on it all anything else you want to look at no i'm good no, that's really the two i want to see 5980 but travis said you sold it already give you an idea we had that one it was a 20 20 oh the blue dial two-tone I'd have to double check. I, I want to say they're around the 120, 130 price point. They may have gone even a little bit lower. That blue dial, when you get it in the sun, pops extremely well. I'll put it on my board. I'll throw out a call there and just see what kind of options I get okay. to give you an idea of what's out there. Yep. That way, at least you know what kind of price range you're going to be in yeah. so you know where you want to. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. cool. Hey. Good morning. Hey, man. The two pieces, where's my notes at? The pre-owned one is 62.5, the brand new one is 66,000. How many extra links would you need, two? So you put two on both of those other ones, right? Yes. I wanna say rose gold links right now cost about 700 a piece. So it'll be, I'm just gonna add 1,400 on the top of the price of the watch. So if you want the new one, you're looking at 67,400 out the door. Yeah, for, for 3,500 bucks, I'd rather buy a new one. Right, I mean, yeah, when you're spending 60,000, what's you know, plus it's plus the other one's a 2019. This is a 2022, so you get the full five-year warranty versus just a year left or a year and a half left. Um, I just, I mean, I guess I don't want to spend that on a watch, but it's what she wants, so I'm gonna do it. I want to <laughs> get it. Um, 
kind of get me a, a bill together. I'll get the bank to shoot you a wire. I just want to make sure I can have it by next Thursday. Let me call my dealer right now. Let me make sure it's available. Um, I'll ask him if he has a couple extra links. Once I confirm all that with him, I'll call you right back and I'll shoot you my wire information. All right, thank you. All right, take care, buddy. Okay. Bye. Can you call me for a quick second? I may have this watch sold, but I need some details on it. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? It's Anthony. What's happening, bro? Not much. Uh, so, uh, you're in Miami area? Yeah. I just don't, like, I'm not going to lie, bro. I've never bought a Rolex or anything of value through IG or over the thing. And I know I watched some of your, your videos and shit, you know, like, you know, like, say, I'm an odd shit, but, like, I was about to pull the trigger on the one Daytona shit six months ago, eight months ago. That bitch was at, like, 170. So I just figured I'd wait a few more months for that thing to, for everything to settle down. I yeah. Do for another, do for another dip a little bit, and right. see what that is. But I was like, I'll just get this, this white gold Daytona right now. So the way I work is, I'll find the watch in my dealer groups. I will quote you a year and an exact price, an out the door price. Uh, okay. If you if you agree, sell me a two thousand dollar deposit. Send me your contact info, name, phone address, and email, so I can get you an invoice. It'll have my wire information on it. And then you just queue me up a wire. Once I get the two K Zell, I lock it in with the dealer. Then I'll order the watch. They'll ship it to me. Being Friday, if we lock one in today, I can have it either tomorrow. I can have it Monday. You queue up a wire. I'll see it Monday morning. We'll ship Monday for Tuesday. I mean, what are we talking about? It's gonna be brand new. Like I don't do unworn. I don't do yeah. freaking. Born. The call I put out for is 2022 recent date, brand new, box papers complete. If you put a 2K deposit up for a brand new watch and the watch uh, is sold to me as brand new and it shows up and I can tell that it's been worn, I can tell that it's been polished, anything like that, I just send it back and you don't lose your deposit. I'll send your deposit back, we can hold it till we find another one, whatever. That very rarely happens, but I just let, I let people know that you know, you're not gonna lose your deposit or anything like that if the watch I get isn't what we're expecting. So I'll get the watch, I'll make sure it is what we're expecting, I'll send you pictures, videos, everything like that. Okay, all right, sounds good. Um, cool. Like, are you buying these things like, in the, like from everywhere? I mean, yes, I source watches from all over the world, but I try to find them. I will take one in the States before I'll take one out of out of the country. It's just stuff like this I can all find in the country. It's, it's when you get into like special edition APs, Richard Mill, special edition paddocks that you have to go to Hong Kong and Dubai because that's just where they're at. Nobody has them here. I've got a couple dealers already chiming in. I've got one of my dealers in New York has one. I have another dealer in, uh, in the Miami area that has one. And I'll text you a price. I'll text you the specs. When we agree to it, shoot me a deposit. All right, thank you, bro. All right, buddy, take care. What do you think this is? I think I know what it is, but I'm not for sure. If I'm correct, that's about $80,000. I was starting to cut through it, but then I was like, I'm trying to be careful. I was just laughing at how this is already packaged. And if, if it is what I think it is, I think it's a platinum Arabic day date. Probably. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know we haven't come in. Wait, no, this is not platinum. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> just sitting out there on top of our Amazon Fresh box. Not That's not platinum. That's not platinum. No. Dude. <laughs> It's a fake bracelet. It's a fake watch. No way. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Did I was sitting there thinking, well, I was sitting oh, there thinking that I was like, that. wow. Was it? I mean, put it here. It should be, it'd be heavier than this. And just compare, just feel these two. Bro, that is so, that's ridiculous. It, there's nothing to it, man. Let me see it. Oh. Let me hold it. Oh, yeah. That's why it got shipped like that. Glad I spent $300 on the shipping label for that. Why would you even think back? that that was gonna work? Like, what? Are you sending it back? Or? Oh, I'm gonna uh, post it on our wall right here, on our hall of shame, right right above right above my last lawsuit. <laughs> Liz, where's your thumbtacks? Here, give me some, uh, give me some TPG ribbon. I have like this. No, give me this. Where's your scissors? I'm gonna hang this up on our wall of shame. I have a feeling I have a lawsuit from Rolex coming after the next video. We're starting a little wall of <sighs> stupid shit people send us. Off camera, okay, I'll wear that shit. <laughs> Morning. 
Hi, is this uh, Tom Peace, gentlemen? This is Anthony, yes. How are you? Oh, hi, Anthony. How are you doing today? I'm good, man. Yourself? Oh, uh, not too bad. Uh, I actually just got done fighting a house fire not too long ago. Nice. You're a firefighter? Yes, sir. I'm down here in Louisiana. Um, I was just kind of curious. I've been just scrolling through TikTok, and i seen y'all on there. Nice. I've seen somebody had a, I believe it's a GMT Coke, is what it's called. And I was just wondering, uh, I called a local guy to me. Uh, I'm pretty sure the number he gave me was kind of wild. How high did he quote? 26. Did he say what year and what was so special about this watch? Uh, I want to say 2014. And it was just, I don't, that's just what he said it was. I don't know. I'm trying to get into watches. And I thought that one was pretty cool because, you know, firefighter and all, it kind of looks like a red line flag. Right. I was just kind of curious as to what they normally run and so I know I don't believe they're in production anymore so finding a brand new one's not possible. Dude. I saw that same one for sale that said 2018 on it but I might be So that owner. No, that would be a Pepsi. I'm not a vintage guy. My former business partner was an expert at that and we he dealt with a lot of these but I don't ever remember a specific Coke bezel that brought that kind of money unless there's like a tiffany stamp on it and then it'd be more but i can get that watch i can put out some calls and see what are around in my group you should be able to pick up a good condition coke bezel gmt late 90s early 2000s in the low teens like somewhere around 14 or so oh okay okay cool yeah. cool, cool. do you have an idea on the timeline like uh um probably closer to july i'd say about middle of this year okay all right, I'm just taking a note. I'll put you in my CRM and I'll, I'll put some reminders in the next, like say start around June or so, reach okay. back out to you and see where you're at. See if you're you know, kind of getting ready to pull the trigger or even more interested in it then. And then we can start uh, looking. Once I know you're about ready to pull the trigger, I can start looking and seeing what's out there and available in the market. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. All right, dude, well, I'm glad you reached out. Thank, I hope you keep enjoying the content and just hit me up anytime you got any questions. Hey, what's up, dude? I'm still working on a Hulk. Uh, I can't find the dealer that offered me the one at 2019, so I put out another call for it today for a 19 or a 20 just to see what I was, oh, I just found it. Let me call somebody real quick. I'll call you right back. All right, bye. All right, bye. Yeah. Yeah, what up, dude? Do you still have that 2019 Hulk? Yeah, I have it. Can you send me, is it complete, mint? It's no white tag, but it's mint, mint, yeah. Send me some pictures real quick, and it's, uh, how much is my price? 20 grand, bro. Okay. 2019, you know, it's not like a 2017 or anything. That's fine, that's fine. Send me, real quick, send me some pictures and videos and I can try to close it. Okay. Thanks, dude. So, 2019, 20,000 my cost. Quote, 22,5. Hey, check your, uh, check your text. So, I found a 2019, same price, 22,5. But the only thing it's missing is that white hang tag. Everything else is complete. Yeah, I don't give a f about the white hang tag. Thank you. As long as it's got the box and the papers and the warranty card, like it's, I'm gonna wear the f thing. So I have this one available right now. Uh, the dealer actually just called me again. So if you can, talk. Let me talk to her and I'll uh, let you know for sure. And then if I need to, I can. She tried to sell our landscaper today, and Zell's down. She's like, I can't even. Pay the landscape the down. Well, I mean, you've bought enough for me, so if you tell me, just give me a commitment, I'll get it sent to me. Okay, so. sounds good, and I'll let you know about that other date just too. And then, dude, I need to get one of them leather uh, watch rolls from you. All right, you buy this Hulk, I'll throw one in the box. Okay. Those uh, things badass. Yeah, uh, they're convenient what did too. What did Darby and those guys say when you got back and let them listen to the audio? Oh, everybody listened to it. They're, Dar Darby's already started editing the, editing the video, so it's going to be good. That's awesome. Let me uh, talk with the wife and I'll fall back up to you. All right, sounds good, man. All right, bye. Bye. Whoa. Date just 41, one, two, six, three, three, four. Sold order. Oh, I think that's your sold order right here. Yeah. Let me see that, is that mine? No, that's oh, Trevor's no. sold order. There's your bluesy. Fully stickered. Nice. Bluesy? Barcode too. Yeah. We bought it? Um, no, it's from my guy. Yeah. We've got four watches coming from him. Bro, do you see this car? No. What's up with that? Are you f 
Are you kidding me? Is it? That's for this guy? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> That's from... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? These cards lately, man. Dude, yeah. it's ridiculous. Like, can a dealer not sell an honest watch? I'm about, I'm really about to start blasting. Every time someone does that shit, I'm gonna blast their name, their company, everything. Show a picture of them. It's just ridiculous. It's something you would disclose right off the bat. Like, just waste everybody's time. <laughs> Oh, sold order. No, from the from clan, the one they bought. I know it's sold. Oh, wait. no. Are you sure? No, no, no. This is the 2018, the 2019 <laughs> sold. Oh, it comes tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. that's the one with the guy with the meteorite as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this? Oh, that is it. <laughs> this yeah. is a gorgeous watch. And no, and no box? Uh, no, it's from a dealer. Okay. This is a 228-345-RBR. It's a rose gold date 8, 40 millimeter. Chocolate baguette diamond dial with a round diamond bezel. Absolutely stunning in person. Barcode sticker. Fully stickered here. This goes with that, so don't lose that. Oh, we have two Hulk on. Yeah. Wait, maybe it did come today. Here's the one you've been waiting on. You want to say that? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> See, Brian, you don't need to use copyright music when you got Z here. Rolex Daytona Meteorite, 116515. This, this is gorgeous. That's all for today. I'm going to give you all of these, inventory everything. I'm going to take a picture of this one, I'll bring it to you. Okay. That I got to deal with. Yo. Hey, just put the hundred dollars on the on the wire, and I'll just take care of the label. Cause it's coming from Canada, okay? Which Hulk. watch? For the hook. Okay. Will it be here tomorrow, or is it two days? Yeah, it's gonna be here tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you. All right, bye. <laughs> he responded instantly. Didn't answer my call, but <laughs> he responded to the car, uh, to the picture of the Ferrari. He's like so f***ing hard. Let's see if he calls. Well, until he calls, we'll go through a couple of our Monday sold orders. We have this one that you guys saw earlier, the factory diamond date eight, yellow gold sky, Pepsi Jubilee, and Volcano AP. And then Liz, what are you packaging up? Two-tone rose gold chocolate dial date just, two-tone root beer. What up, dude? Up, you like the new ride? That's a toy, bro. <laughs> You're right, it's a toy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I called you and I was like, watch, you didn't answer. I'm going to send him a picture of the Ferrari. It calls me right back, I bet. <laughs> In like in 30 seconds, you responded. Um, I've, I've always wanted a piece of but I put so much money into my 48 I can never sell it, sell it now I'm stuck with it I'm dealing with the same problem. dealing with the same thing yeah do you know what I'm I'm selling both of my cars which one the G and the Huracan yeah and the per the G and the Performante the, the Huracan Performante has car player or no yeah bro didn't they switch to Evo in 19 no my last Evo though was a 2020 I traded my Evo Spider in and I traded into the Performante but I went you back like a year. I love it. I mean, they're, I like both of them. But like, so when I had my Evo, I put, I don't know, like if I would have dumped another 70 grand into it, is that's basically what the Performante is. So it just comes stock with all that extra stuff yeah, on it. Yeah, the Performante has so much forged carbon stock and the Evo has none and it's so confusing. Right. Well, that's how you know the difference too. Yeah. But anyway, I was calling you to get... I've been, I've been looking at them, bro. Dude, that's, I drive it every day, so I love it. Purpose of my call is I need a price. I've got a guy offering me a an RM11 Felipe Massa Ultimate Edition. Is it Ultimate or Last? No, it's Last Edition. That's the the Tiffany Blue. The blue one. It's Last Edition. Pre-owned, complete, ballpark estimate on what it'll sell for. I think I just bought one, bro. One um, I gotta call you back, bro. That's a tricky watch. Just, or I'll text you. Just yeah. Like text me and let me know what I should pay and what it'll sell for. Okay, bro. Thanks, dude. All right, bye. No Are you still using this?
No. Those are done? Okay. I want to challenge you to a, is it duo or duel? Duel, bro. Duel, okay. Duel Today way. only. Z, nobody come to me with any questions that have to do with anything but cells. Trevor. Yeah. But, Whoever I mean, knocks out the most cells. That's what? Dinner. But ultimately, sometimes I have to come to you because you're like, oh yeah, we can move that for that piece. Then we'll so that you're, half. You know, then we'll count that as a half. This is my side of the board. This is your side of the board. Let's see who knocks out the most cells today. All right, man. Put me up for one right here. And it's going to be a cash transaction and dinner. Cash is a dollar. A dollar? Yeah. A dollar for what? Yeah, a dollar. That's our bet. Plus dinner. Sales only. Trying to knock out. These are all my calls today. I'm going to close three of these at least. All right, you got one? Put it on the board. One. Put it on the board then. <laughs> Write down the watch and the price. Yo. What up? Uh, that Skydweller. Is 20K best? Well, it's my best, man. I, I, I actually have it incoming. Like, I don't have it on hand yet, but it's coming in though. It has to be 2022, brand new, full set, box papers, everything. No manipulated cards, no slider, no polish, anything I, like I that. Know, I, know, I, know. Yeah. I have to have it in my hands no later than Thursday because it's got to be in my guy's hand by Friday. But it's sold at 20, right? Sold at 20. It's complete though. Yeah, okay, let me, let me try to look there and I'll talk about it. Alright, thanks man. That one doesn't count because it's uh, replacing an order, so. It just, sucks, it just sucks, it's a waste of time, you know? I'm getting it cheaper. That's true, yeah. $500 cheaper than the one with the manipulated card. Keep working, it's a good start. Doesn't count though because all I'm doing is replacing a watch that came yesterday that had a f***ed up card, but it's getting the ball rolling, it's still early. I have 12.2, but the bracelet has been taken. Why the f would you offer me that? I need exact. No dial, changes, nothing. I have, but the bracelet has been taken off. What am I gonna do with that? Make a necklace out of it? I put out a call and I'm very, very specific. Must be 2022 or newer, so, or 2023. Has to be this dial, has to be this bracelet, has to be complete. And you always get someone there like, hey, I have, except it's 2019. Archive papers. It's a different color dial and a different bracelet. Can you use? That one. That one. Z, where's the watch? Oh, on my desk. All right, I just sold one. I mean, with Trevor now. <clears throat> just sold that. Which one is it? Here you go, Z. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's an inside job. <laughs> I would have bought that. I told him I would have bought it this morning. So I could buy stuff for myself? You can. All right. The right price. Which one do you want? I got you. I would have bought that. I told oh, him this Which one do you want? I got you a good deal. I thought about that Hulk. It's my son's birthday here. But Is it? What's our cost on it? You name a price? So. <laughs> on me. Buy him a mask. Why didn't I get dibs on that? I'm not, I'm I can not. actually. I'll buy it today, though. When do you mind? I can pay in two days. <laughs> what do you want to pay? I can pay right now. What do you want to pay? 60.5. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, the tutor. Okay, so what's up? But that's the thing, though, man, because they want to pay with credit card. How much is it? 3500 right now? Yeah, we can do it. Put it on the board. Set it aside. Hey, is it it's for sure sold? You sent me the card, the front and back of the card and get it. Hey, what's up? Yo, Anthony, yeah. I can I can get it out to you tomorrow for Thursday. Um, but the thing is, bro, I just looked at my cost and shit. I fed up on the number, bro. My cost is actually twenty with the label. I know, I hate it when I twenty and a half. I hate it when I do that too, but you know what? I eat the I bite the bullet all the time. Like I don't I don't care. Like if if, if you actually want bro, whatever, I'll do it. But if you can just throw me like a little bit extra, like two fifty, I'm good, like, you know? I'll do, I'll do it. Dude. Don't worry. We do good business. Just make sure, please okay. make sure it's brand new. I don't want to deal with having to get it yeah, in it's, it's and having to send it back again. Here. All right, cool. I'll take. I'm gonna have it tomorrow, and then I'll ship it right out to. Uh, I'll send you. Back out to all right, I'll send you a label right now. I'm a Zoll at twenty two fifty. Uh, okay, thank you. All right, cool. Bye. Bye. Twenty thousand two fifty sold for the for that watch. Let me call. He's gonna have good news. Hey. How are you? Good, uh, Anthony? Uh, yes, sir. Good, Hello, news. Hey. Good news. It'll be to my dealer tomorrow. He'll ship it to me. I will... What's today? Tuesday? I'll have it in hand Thursday morning. I'll ship it out to you. You'll have it Friday morning. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. I appreciate the call. Yes, sir. Anthony. All right, buddy. We'll stay in touch. Once I have it in hand, I'll shoot you some pictures. Sounds good. Okay. Bye. 
Uh, so the the date, Jess, is that for you or is that for a lady? That's for my wife. Do you know what size? Does she wear any watches right now? Do you have any idea what size she wears? No, that's the thing is she doesn't. And I'd, I'd like to get her something like that date. Just so here's the thing about date, Jess. No matter what size. Uh, it is. Yeah. You can. They're they're all very versatile. So all the dial options, all the metals, the bracelet types, they're pretty much. They pretty much come in almost every size, from 26 millimeter all the way up to a 41. Give or take a few different dials that aren't available on certain sizes. What you've got to find out though, what size fits her wrist the best. Let me ask you this: How tall is she? She's small, dude. She's got like she's like five four. Very petite wrists, okay. small hands, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna probably be looking for, from a 26 millimeter, which is the smallest size, up to about a 31. I actually have, I sell tons of them for, uh, they're 26 millimeters, it's two-tone, it's two-tone yellow gold. The one I have right now is a pink mother of pearl diamond dial, and it has a diamond bezel. Now the dial, and the bezel are aftermarket and it's an older model watch but for the look and the price point it's why it's uh it's why it's one of my best sellers when it comes to women just having a watch because they don't care about old style versus new style they want to look they want shiny they want diamonds they want you know a pink yeah. dial or blue or mother of pearl or something like that and rather than going out and spending 15 grand 20 grand to get a brand new one from rolex a lot of women go for the, the cheaper option, which is to buy an older model watch, add a dial, add a bezel, polish it up, make it look new, and get that look for a fifth of the price. Check, look at your phone. I just sent you a picture of the one that, that I was looking at that I thought, it is kind of, this, you just described Oh, that's it. I mean, well, that, that's it, yeah. but stainless steel. So I have that exact watch in two-tone yellow gold in stainless steel. Actually, here, I just sold it, so I'm gonna send you a picture. Does she only want stainless steel? Let me send you this. Tell me if that goes through. I'm gonna try to, oh, I can't take a video when I'm on the phone, but um, I'll take no, a video. Yeah, that's nice, that's nice. So that's the exact same watch with the same mother of pearl diamond dial, but in two-tone. I mean, honestly, the price point is, for a steel version of that, probably a thousand less. So for a thousand more, you get two-tone, flashier, it's got a yellow gold uh, fluted bezel, which, you know, women, they stack jewelry. So is this does, 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 does everything that you have come with box and papers too? Not everything. Okay. Older stuff like this, it's this watch is from the one I have. It was an '87. Okay. That same exact look in a 2023 watch would be almost 17 grand. God dang! Man. I sold the uh, first one I sent you. This the regular mother of pearl dial. I sold that one for 3,500. The pink one I have for 3,800, and it's at my watchmaker right now, getting getting made perfect. Does that one have box papers? It, does, uh, it does not. That if that watch had the original papers, I'd probably be charging about $2,000 more because it's so old. For, for a watch like that to make it that long uh, and have the original papers, it carries a premium. Not having papers does not, like a lot of people think, it does not make a watch unauthentic. It does not make a watch more authentic. It just shows the original papers. Okay, and then... My second question was, is if, I, if I'm looking for a, a, a Rolex watch, something that, you know, I'd like to wear occasionally if I'm, you know, going out or whatever, I'm going to buy it, you know, wear it a little bit, but one of the, you know, not lose money on it, is there a Rolex model that kind of fits that? That criteria that I explained in the text message? Any sports model, uh, Rolex Submariners, GMTs, Daytonas, it really depends on what kind of budget you want to stay in. Here, I'll send you this first set of pictures I'm going to send you are models of Submariners. Now, these range from about 13,000, about 12,000 up to the full gold pieces up to 40,000. The second set of pictures are the GMT wow. models. What's that, uh, the second one, the uh, root beer with the rose gold, what's that one? So right now, a two-tone root beer, you're looking around 23,000 for new. Pre-owned, you can get for like 20 to 21. So there's not much of a difference in price from new to used on these GMTs, huh? Not anymore, there used to be. But this, this would be the kind of watch where if you had it, you wanted to trade it in in a couple of years, you're not yes. gonna, there's not a big reduction or loss in cost like it's kind of holding its value pretty good these two right submariners and gmts nobody can honestly tell you where the market's going to be in two years but based on what like my guess and that's all it is is a guess sure two sure. years from now i think anything you buy right now you will be safe in you're not going to lose any money i think it'll go up 
you're either in a buyer's market or you're in a seller's market. Right now we're in a buyer's market. Not a great time to sell, it's a great time to buy because everything over the last year has dropped 20, 30, 40, 50%, you know, 60% on some stuff. Wow. Ideally, what is a time frame? What's a time frame and a budget for both yours and your wife's piece? I'd like to get hers for Valentine's Day. Okay. On my watch, I don't really have a time frame. I just want to find the right, I, well, budget I don't know. Budget wise, I was thinking probably like, and again, inexperienced, just looking online. Right. You know, I was, I, th I saw the date just, which I thought were nice, but those are like brand new 10, 11, but it doesn't sound like the date just would be something I'd want to turn around and trade in and, or lose money or something in two, three, four years. It seems like the Submariners or the GMTs would probably be. Two to three, to go. well, two to three, you know, when you're talking about two or three years, I think you're fine. <laughs> if you're talking about three months, six months, then I'd say, yeah, you're going to, you're going to take a small loss on it. But you have to think with just basic inflation and the fact that Rolex is increasing their prices now, I think it's the second time they've increased their prices in four years. Just yeah. with, if they do that again in two years and then again in two years, they're increasing an average of 4% each time. They'll be up 8% in two, in four years plus inflation, plus every year we're having more and more buyers come to the market. Just natural progression is gonna drive the prices up to where if any watch, any date just you buy today in a 41 millimeter, I think, I mean, obviously if you buy it at a reasonable price, but if you buy one at a conservative price today, two or three years from now, I think you'll be fine. I think you'll be able to, at the worst, sell it for what you paid for it. Right on. Cool. All right, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll talk to her and then I'll get back to you before the end of the day today or tomorrow for sure. All right, sounds good, man. Anthony, thanks for your time, man. I really appreciate it. You too. Very welcome, dude. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, it's Anthony Fair from the Timepiece Gentleman. Man, I, I watch your stuff every Monday. Nice. Appreciate that. Yeah, so listen, uh, this is what I got going on. I actually have I have a trucking company. I have a repair shop. I probably got about 60 people working for me. Uh, about a $15 million company. I also dropped out of high school freshman year. Got in trouble all my life. And then kind of started oh, to work. Yeah. <laughs> so my businesses are doing really good. And I, I love watches, but I'm more interested into the whole investment side of it. I want to be able to buy some watches, put them away, you know, kind of see what the market does. And of course, use them as well. I read your inquiry. It said you've got a budget of like five to 50,000. You're looking to get a couple pieces. Yeah. You know, if there's a deal or if there's a better investment on a bigger piece, that's fine. We could do a bigger piece. But if we want to break it down into, you know, two or three pieces, maybe a piece, some kind of Rolex for, you know, when we're outside, when we go on vacation with the wife, maybe something for nighttime. So I kind of want to, you know, kind of both worlds of it, try to invest a little bit of money and also, you know, be able to, be able to use it once in a while. Let's say you get two pieces. Let me ask you the first question. Are you going to wear both pieces or are you just going to stick one in the safe? I'll stick one in the safe. Okay, well, that's a bad idea because unless you're going to spend 500 grand and buy something that's like a limited edition of five or 10 pieces or a Tiffany stamp or something like that, it's a complete waste of money because, simple analogy, if you have enough money to buy, say, a $100,000 watch and just tuck it, tuck it away in the safe on the gamble that it's going to go up in value and the later, later you're going to be able to resell it, you're probably smart enough to take that money and put it in a million other spots, that's gonna make a lot more money a lot quicker and it's a lot higher probability that you're successful with it. There's plenty of watches you can put money into as long as you're gonna wear them. Again, like I said, if you, if you get $50,000 to put in a watch that you're not gonna wear, you, you can take $50,000 and literally go sure, buy anything and resell 100%. it two or three times and make more money than you're gonna make with appreciation of the watch. Unless, of course, you happen to buy a piece that three months from now, six months from now, it gets discontinued or Ed Sheeran goes on and talks well, about it. Yeah, so that's, so. A, that's a gamble. And of course, that's a, that's a business that I'm not into. Again, from, from the stuff that I'm seeing online and, and uh, uh, the watches that I see on your YouTube channels, definitely fall in love with the stuff. That's why I'm reaching out to you guys. So I'm kind of trying to trying to get a little bit more educated on it, like you're you know educating me right now. But I'm definitely interested in buying some stuff. Sure. So I would kind of, I'm a Rolex lover for sure. But of course, I'm looking for a piece, you know, during the day where I could even go work out with it. But of course, then I would be looking for a piece at, uh, for nighttime as well. I would look at, you know, ceramic stainless steel Daytonas. I'd look at a solid gold Daytona. It's the most sought after sport model in the Rolex lineup. Within Daytonas, you've got stainless steel 
two-tone and full gold options. I wouldn't say two-tone. I would say either all steel or all gold. And I would go for the first one. I would like to go all go all steel on it. I would do a ceramic bezel. You have two color options. You've got a white dial and a black dial. The white's the most popular. I personally like the black the best because it's I just I wear all black every day, but the white pops the most. As many of them as I've sold, you still very rarely see it out in the wild. It's a I sport would go watch. with the white one. Anthony, yeah. I would go with the white one. Are you more interested in brand new or pre-owned? Pre-owned, you're going to save a little bit of money, which if you're talking you know, investment... I don't want to save the money, Anthony. I want brand new paper box. Okay, 35000 brand new, out the door, 2022, possibly a 2023, but more than likely it's a 2022 brand new. And I would just, and instead of, instead of trying to get two watches and tuck one away, I would just get one high quality piece under 50 grand that has a better potential to go up and then just wait okay. and enjoy that one and then wait till you're ready to pull the trigger on the second one. I, I, so as much as I'd love to sell you two watches, I think the better sure. option is to buy one really good one. So you're saying 35000 shipped to my house? Uh, plus $200 in shipping. Where do you live? About a half hour south of Chicago. Yep, 352 out the door. The only last thing I would need from you, when this, so this is my cell phone number. Yep. When you send me the wire instructions, if you could just send me a picture of the of the watch. Sure. For sure, fantastic. All right, brother, send me over the information. Yes, sir, on it right now. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon, brother. Yes, sir, thank you. Trevor, I'm busy. Will you go add that to the board? You're still two behind. The Tudor and the Sea Dweller. Uh, I got the sale when I was eating my burrito. How are you? Fine, Anthony. I had uh, ordered a sweatshirt from you and got it today. It's a wonderful piece of material. It's just the quality is amazing. Thanks, dude. Yeah, it took like six months to nail down the perfect one. I know, dude. I know. I was kept texting you wondering when you were going to get your merchandise. And I love the videos. Love the content. Keep up the great work, Anthony. I'll always love you till the end, brother, no matter what. Appreciate that, people say about you, no matter what, you know, all that crap, you know, whatever you did in your past is your past. And same to me, and same to everybody else. So it don't matter. You're a good dude. I appreciate all that, man. I really do. I like, I enjoy hearing positive feedback like that because it's a little less common than the negative shit people like to voice their opinions on. Keep it up, my man, and you uh, you take care of yourself, and maybe we'll see each other in the future. If you're ever in L.A., let me know, man. Come by the store and meet the group. We'll do. I'd love to meet them all. All right, man. We'll have a good week, right. thank and you. thank so, you. Thank you. Bye. Take care, buddy. It's Anthony Fair from the Timepiece. Gentlemen, I got your inquiry. You're looking for a an unworn Wimbledon Date Just Jubilee. Yeah, 41 millimeter. 2022, uh, brand new, unworn. Might be a 23, actually. A 14.5 plus 200 shipping, and so 14.7 out the door. Okay. Something I got to think about if I'm just being honest. I don't want to you know, waste your time. Appreciate the call. Definitely save your number. Shoot you a text uh, within the next couple weeks. Yeah, hit me up. I'll save your number as well. Hit me up anytime. Thanks, man. Liz, can you come tell the camera your deal? Liz forgot that we film content for YouTube. I know it's like new and stuff. Uh, I know it's new, <laughs> but you know we film for YouTube. And we're doing this contest today, see how many sales we get. I'm not and a since sales everyone, person. I know, since everyone <laughs> just thinks you sit back in your office and don't do anything, but you do a lot. I but you never lot. put it on camera. Yeah, uh, I've been running around all day, went to the watchmakers, loaded up seven <laughs> watches. <laughs> Um, and you sold a watch? And I sold two watches. Did you sell the Dayjust? Uh, yeah, yeah, the Motif Dial Dayjust and a Batman. Okay, sweet. And I spotted a fake watch. I'd be working, I promise. <laughs> Boy, you the month. Yeah, I just, I just don't like this, so. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> Go add it to the board. I sold the Daytona. So what are y'all doing? Um, taking all these watches to FedEx. I'm going to go to the watchmaker and pick up another watch. I've got a couple watches to drop off. I'm gonna go drop off all the merch. Gotta go to UPS, USPS, DHL, FedEx, and the watchmakers. <laughs> Fourteen five on that day, just right? On yes. like the green yes. motif. All right. Yes. What else you saw? Uh, waiting on the sea dweller. How much? Uh, Fourteen. How much is the sea dweller? It's a forty three, right? Uh, uh yeah. Um, when did you say? Those are all going out today. When is the Vashron getting picked up? Canada. I gotta double check with him on the exact date, but it's not gonna be for like another week. Okay. Disco Palace Street should be on the currency inventory. Just these two? Just and one this? more. 
There's one more. But wait, there's more. Hey, it's Anthony Fair from the Timepiece Gentleman. Z gave me a message. You were looking for a couple watches. Yes, sir. I am. One second, let me close my office door. All right. And it's a two tone blue Z and a two tone yellow gold Seedweller 43. Yes, sir. I don't have. I was e looking initially oh. for a uh, blue Z in the same version with black, and then I found the Seedweller and I liked it also. So, so uh, maybe two potentials there. Yeah, so the Seed Dweller is a 43 millimeter. It's a little bit bigger. It's got a helium escape valve on it, which, you know, it's made for diving deeper. So it's a little bit thicker on top of the wrist, like setting setting off the wrist. The Two Tone Blue Z, I just sold my last one yesterday, but easy to get. 18.5 brand new on this on the Two Tone Blue Sub on the... That's the same right there. That one's listed at the same price. Sit listed at 18.5 yeah. also. So I have the Seed Dweller right here in my hands, brand new. 2022 for 18.5. It's about 18.5 on both. 18.5 on both. Both 2022 brand new. Okay. When do you think you could have the 41 millimeter sub? Shoot me a deposit. I could have one tomorrow. And you, you said it is brand new also? Yes. Okay. Do you do just wires? Do you do credit card and then put a fee on them, surcharge, or how does okay. it work? I can do either. There's a 3% fee added on top of the credit card. Wire, there's no fee. So save $1,000 and get the watches by Thursday with a bank wire. Spend the extra thousand and get the watches on Friday, given that there's no hiccups with the credit card. No shit. Okay, thank you, Anthony. Yes, sir. Take All care, right. buddy. Bye -bye. Trevor, another one sold, buddy. Yeah. She just requested to not be on camera, but I just sold 36 millimeter date eight, uh, white Roman dial, reference one two eight two three eight, I believe. Trevor. Just so you know. Guys cheating. What? Hey. He said work, takes, work smarter. Get, yeah, work smarter. Not, not harder. harder. He put a shout out that he's throwing, giving free hoodies away. You know? So <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me show you what I put on his Instagram. On the Instagram that he runs. Like, it, it's not even. I put that on Trevor's Instagram account. <laughs> That's f up. Sales are sales, bro. Seals are seals. Tails, tails. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go get some sign flippers, bro. Now Z said that. Get someone to flip a sign. I'm pretty sure Rodeo Drive Ooh. is gonna have an issue with some crackhead out there. Flip a <laughs> sign. <clears throat> <clears throat> Anthony. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, I've uh, got a question for you. Yes. Uh, I think you pictures of both watches just to verify I uh, had the right ones. Yes. Uh, I'll do it right now. And then appraisal, do you do appraisals on them or do I have to send those off to somebody else? The invoice typically, are you talking about for like homeowner's insurance and stuff? That's right. I can get you an appraisal done, but honestly all an appraisal is going to be is some overinflated value that insurance isn't going to honor anyway. It's going to be, it's, a, it's an $18,500 watch. Someone that writes you appraisal is going to write some stupid price like 27000 which people get super right. excited when they send that to their insurance. Uh, if you if you ever have a claim, insurance is going to reach out to someone like me or another dealer and say, hey, what does it cost to replace this watch brand new? And we're going to tell them exactly what it cost us or what it would cost them to buy it from us. So yeah, I guess. anytime I've had to fulfill an order for an insurance claim, they, they don't go based off of what an appraisal says. They go based off of what the insurance company actually spends buying it from me. Okay. All right, so we're doing uh, two of them. We're doing 38000 You're talking about with the credit card fee and the shipping? Yeah, got it at 38316 Yeah, that's fine. I can do that. If you want to lock it in real quick, do you want to run the credit card today? Yeah, that's fine. For the invoice, just uh, send me your name, phone, address, and email that you want on the invoice, and then send me the credit card information and the zip code associated with the credit card, and then I'll run that, and I'll send you a confirmation once I run it. Perfect. I will have that information over to you shortly. Awesome, dude. As soon as you get that over to me, five minutes later, you'll have an invoice. Sounds good, Anthony. Appreciate the help. Yes, sir. Thank you. Right, Pleasure doing going. business. Take care. All right, perfect. Cheating. Shout out cheating. Awesome. You got a help from two other guys giving you leads. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> you have an Instagram account. May's still young. You, I'm staying here till midnight. <laughs> I won't go home. I'll be here all night. I got a cot. <laughs> I'll sleep on the couch. I bought, I bought Brian three extra batteries. He ain't going over either. You got a date tonight? Nope. Good. See? Brian's staying too. Hey, Anthony. How you doing? I'm good, man. Uh, Z passed me your information along. Said that you were interested in a watch. 
Yeah, either either one or two. I, I could actually use some help on and advice on what's the right path to go. I've been collecting for, I don't know, 10 or 15 years. And uh, like lots of people in the hobby, I've gone through lots of iterations. I had a couple of Rolexes. I had a Hulk and a GMT. And then when the market kind of went crazy, I sold those. I sold my Hulk and bought it at the Lama because I, I didn't feel a Hulk was a $30,000 watch. But I don't, I don't own any Rolexes today. Okay. And I don't have... I don't have any precious metal like sports watches, and I'm kind of intrigued by the Blueberry or the Smart, whatever the hell it is. I've been on lots of lists, and as the markets have softened, my local AD in Chicago has called and said, "Hey, we have one for you." As one does, you go, "Well, it's it's 42 grand. What's the market price on that?" Yes. And I, I would argue that the secondhand market price is less than retail on that watch. Yes, on the Blueberry, it sells around 30 39 is what it'll sell for, brand new for me. At the AD, you're going to pay 42 thousand plus tax. Yeah, the Chicago tax is like 10%, so I'd be yeah. like 47 on the door. Way Bottom too high. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't want to be $10,000. I'm going to the day and bring it home. So. Here, here's the general rule of thumb with the ADs right now with the way the game's going. If they're offering you stuff out of the blue, good stuff, uh, there's a reason. It's because it sells under retail. If you don't have a status with the ADs right now and they're offering you good stuff, it's because <laughs> prices have dropped below retail. I'm, I'm considering either pulling the trigger on the blueberry okay. or maybe thinking about doing... Um, like a two tone, I saw you guys had a couple root beers, and then and then maybe just the steel submariner like the Kermit, um, the new model, the forty one, which would be the best direction to go. For me, so now you're looking yeah. at a, a stainless steel with the green bezel and a two tone rose gold with the black and brown bezel, black dial. That is essentially its own little watch collection. You've got two different pieces. The Starbucks can be your daytime piece. The root beer can be your nighttime weekend flashy piece, special events kind of thing. Whereas if you do the white gold blueberry, it is, it's a satin finish watch. It's got a blue bezel, which pops really well, but it is a, it is a toned down watch. Most people are going to think it's a sub with an aftermarket bezel. They're not going to realize it's white gold. So you're spending. Yeah. And in full, full candor, I'm okay with that. And, and there, I've got, I think 40 now, and 40 is way too many. So I'm, that's why I'm, I'm going through an effort of like consolidating and trying to upgrade some of the pieces I have that I just never wear. I think my Starbucks I have brand new is 17.5. So you're at 17.5 and just say 23.5 for a brand new root beer. Out the door, you're going to be 41,000. 41,000 for two watches or 39,000 for the one white gold sub. Um, yeah, you, if you wouldn't mind, let me know um, uh, when you could have that and then I can, I can arrange a wire for that. Maybe get me an invoice. Are you leaning more towards the white gold blueberry? Yeah, I am. Okay. All right, I'm going to text you my Zelle right now. Shoot me a $2,000 deposit, and I'll find you the watch right now. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it, Anthony. Absolutely. Take care, man. Bye. Got a special guest, guys. Remember that face? <laughs> <laughs> flew okay. in. He flew in from San Fran today to buy a watch from us. And he, so he's doing a 126618 yellow gold blue sub, mm -hmm. 41 millimeter. I'll let you check that out. Perfect. He's trading us a white gold Pepsi. 2023. Yeah, nice. Is there any stickers on it? Yeah, there's some on the back. Nice. Perfect. And of course, we've got to send you home with a bunch of merch. Now we are out of mediums. We're out of larges and mediums. This is that super nice. high quality merch you've been working on? Yes, I really like it. Thank you. Where's your key card? Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys got some good security here. What? Let's see what this is. Because he's got his sassy pants Bro. on this morning. So Dylan flew in in traffic to get, for me to get to the airport, get him picked up, and then get back was way longer than expected. So he's got about 15 minutes to hang out, say hi to everybody. Yep. And then we got to go leave right back out. It was cool seeing you guys. We'll be back in like a, a few weeks and uh, like we'll go on a hiking trip or something. Next time you come visit. I'm sure we we'll like that. Yeah, we're setting up our guest room right now, so we probably won't have it done like by the time you come out. But let me tell her to hit me up whenever y'all are coming. We'll, we'll give you guys a good advance. Yeah. Notice. Because we're like setting up the bed and stuff like this weekend. So. What's your guess? Uh, if I had to go on a random guess, I'm probably going to say a date just Wimbledon. I made the label. <laughs> <laughs> AJ's coming at 12, 15 or 12, 30 to get the AP Turbian. You have a liar? I think so. He, he called me yesterday, he's like, he's like, dude, what, why did you see these prices? This thing's only uh, like 230 max. And he sent me the wrong watch. I said, bro, that's not the same watch you got. 
Like your watch is the Sunburst style. That's just you sent me the straight blue. I said it's not. It's, it's a different watch, man. Problem is, he doesn't um, understand. It's, it's it's you know it's gonna. It's not a, it's not a, a fast moving watch. It's gonna yeah, take the right vibe. Which I quoted someone yesterday. They were looking for that exact in the group. It's like kind of piece that if you have it, whenever someone needs it, yeah. they'll pay all the money for it. It's kind of like our RM set on the 1103 until we get the number we want, and I sold it for full ask yesterday. Oh, it's gone? You sold it yeah. yesterday since we talked about it? Uh, it's still here, though. Where is that? I mean, here's this one you want to see. The other, uh, the 1103s get faked really, like, a lot now. This is a super cool piece. RM35 Toro. That one looks way better on the black strap now than it did on the blue yesterday. This one? Mm-hmm. Oh, these are cool. Oh, the wheel is awesome. Do you guys keep up with all the new RMs and stuff? My favorite one that they came out with not. recently is that, that smiley face one. I don't like the don't price know. of it, but I really I, like the... I'm not a fan of those, man. There's too much going on. Dylan like, likes the, the quirky watches. Yeah, no, what's, I know. I see what he really... posts sometimes, but I mean, it, it's cool, man, but it's just not my thing. So on the, the Richard Mill smiley that they came out with, if you notice on the corners, like you notice whenever you see a diamond, it's usually like, um, it's usually set where it's like up where you see the top of the like the head of the diamond well rm on this model they specifically cut some gems to actually look like the emojis that you use in the um like on your phone and stuff it's really cool i haven't looked at that dial like close is that is that a pineapple and an umbrella over there it is they're all like hand carved out of 18 karat gold not for 1.2 million no that's wild man. okay guys we Sorry on the delay. I honestly just kept getting sidetracked with a million things going on, but we have a list of winners from the first video when we asked you guys to share, and we're giving away both a hoodie and a t-shirt combination. So I have the 10 names. I'm gonna read them out. Darby's also going to put a little caption so it says it, but we're also going to put it in the description down below so you can reach out there. Now, if, you, if I call your name and you win, uh, shoot me a text at 469-907-3695. Now, I know people are gonna try to text me and say that this is your account. I'm obviously not just gonna believe everyone. I'm going to ask for a picture of your driver's license and I'm also gonna have you go in and I'm gonna give you a specific word to go comment on this video so I can make sure you do in fact actually own the account. If I call your name, you're gonna get your, your choice between a black black and white t-shirt and a black and white hoodie. I have sizes from extra small up to 2XL. I know we're out of a few of the sizes and hoodies, but the rest of my merch has arrived at the port. It'll be here next week. So the winning names are Jamie Scott, 3211, Frozen Yogurt Games, Callum, 1995 FVL. I absolutely cannot say this one. It's A Y H A. H A K Turk 172. The next one is my real name is. Next one is Pavan Sertani 7640. Next one, this is not my handwriting by the way, this is Darby's and it's terrible. Uh, Samuel Cream, Samuel Eye Cream 730. Next one is 78 Town. Next one is the, the Georgia 16. Next one is William Lai. 898, I actually recognize that name. And then the last one is Jagreet Jahal 7853. So guys, congratulations. Uh, again, I'm sorry if I butchered your name. We're gonna put them down in the description below. So do that, shoot me a text, and we'll go from there. I'll get your sizes, I'll prove that you are the account owner, and we will get these shipped out. And again, this is a worldwide competition. Next announcement is, I have tons of people over the years asking me how to get in the business, asking me for tips and tricks and mentorship. Obviously, I'm a busy guy and I have a lot of, I don't have a lot of free time to do that. And if you're really good at something, you never do it for free. So I do have a watch course coming out. Uh, next week, I am gonna do a video that is gonna be kind of a standalone fill-in video that talks about everything my watch course is going to entail. This will be the most intricate watch course out there. Also the cheapest. I know there's other, other platforms out there that teach you how to buy bullshit watches and honestly, they overcharge. They make you buy three, four, five, six different courses just to get all the information that I'm gonna put in one course. Um, I have decided on a price. I'm gonna do one price, that's it. It's $2,500 per course. I'm going to do a pre-sell a month before I'm ready to launch and I'm gonna pre-sell 100 spots at $1,000. After that, price is 2,500, no discounts nothing so stay tuned and pay attention for that but if you want to go ahead and get a little sneak peek follow me on TikTok uh, at the timepiece gentleman 
And then also on my personal Instagram account, at Anthony, where I'm going to be posting every day or every other day, I'll be posting kind of subtle little lessons to give you ideas on stuff to th start thinking about and get started. But all of this stuff, uh, all these lessons that I post will be very, very, very simplified versions of the actual info that my course is going to cover. And my course is literally going to cover everything that I've learned uh, in the last five years to take you from a nobody in the industry with no skill set, no money, anything to, you know, obviously doing what we've done. I've done over $70 million in sales in the last five years. So uh, another good place to watch is, is on TikTok. I'm doing the road to a million challenge where I'm showing you guys the true power of leverage and connection where I'm taking uh, my connections and my ability to leverage and I'm buying watches without paying for them up front. I'm selling them, I'm peeling a profit off and then I'm going to pay for them and then picking them up. Uh, all I'm gonna do is make a million dollars without ever having to come out of pocket any money or without ever having to take a watch out of the owner's store. And that's what you can do with also more information from my course. Trevor, you have anything? Yeah, just keep in mind, I guess, of um, when you call, if you say you're in Florida and it's seven o'clock there, it's only 4 a.m. here. So, I mean, chances <laughs> are you're not gonna get in touch with me. I will get back with you, but just don't get discouraged. I will get back with you. But I mean, I do get that a lot. I thought of a good one. Um, I'm not wearing a watch, that's embarrassing. Guys, Trevor and Z and I uh, do sales here. We actually just brought in two new sales guys. Uh, let me introduce you to them first. This is Luis and Daniel. So, Luis is from the Outback. Daniel is from? Mexico. Tell them where you're from, Daniel. Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> These guys just started, uh, they're kind of shadowing us and then we're gonna get full swing into it uh, starting Actually, today, whenever you see this video, it will be their first official day with us. So if you do get an email or a text from them, they do really work here. This is Luis. This is still Daniel. Uh, they're going to be uh, coming on. What I was going to say, though, is before these two guys came on, it was just myself, Trevor, and Z. Now, one thing that people like to try is you text one of us and get a price on something, and then you maybe it's not the price you want, and then you text someone else and try to get a price there, and then you text the other one and try to get a price there. Or you're doing it all at the same time, having a conversation with all of us. Nine times out of 10, unless it's super early in the morning or after five or six o'clock at night, we're all sitting right here. So when you're texting us, having the same conversation with each of us, trying to get different numbers, that pisses me off. And it doesn't, doesn't get biased. We all verify numbers before anything gets bought, before anything gets sold. So if I give you a number and then you go and get an, a cheaper number from Trevor, because we haven't talked yet, we're gonna go with the more expensive number. So just, you know, I understand reaching out <clears throat> to get a hold of someone and you can't get a hold of me or them, so you reach out to the next one. Once you get a hold of them, deal with the one person because I can promise you we're all talking. Let me ask Z if he has any more announcements. Do you have any announcements? Nothing? Open line He's shy, shy right now. He's been talking and yelling at us all day. Oh, I will say, Adrian is still in the process of getting all of this artwork hung, which is looking insanely badass. Uh, these little pictures we are going to be selling soon, where you can actually buy pictures that, all, every, every bit of this is shot by Adrian. This is all watches that we've had in, in inventory when they come in, he does both inventory and lifestyle photography. We're gonna set it up to where you can go online and purchase photos like this, obviously without the branding and everything, ship direct to your thing, you can do, what is this print called? Uh, it's like on a gator board, we're gonna have them like framed, whatever. Frames, you metal. Pick whatever you guys want. Yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. So that'll be, uh, that'll be coming in the next two or three weeks, so that'll be cool. Um, guys, I hope you all are loving the videos. Uh, still getting a ton of positive feedback from the AD, the AD video. Uh, people are saying I can see a series come on. There's not going to be a series. I, I don't have time to fly all over the ADs and expose them and all this stuff. Plus, I'm pretty sure after that video, they know who I am now or they'll be watching for it. But you guys try it. If you have similar experiences, comment below because once one person starts talking about it, multiple people are like, oh yeah, that happened to me. That happened to me. That happened to me. And it's pretty uh, pretty common theme across all of them. But glad you guys are loving the content. Uh, we have a really, really cool video I think more on the nerdy educational side uh, coming out next week and it's going to have to do with me actually restoring my first pro I guess my first project watch which is taking this thing that's completely 
beat to hell and bringing it back to life and showing what the potential is and what we can really do whenever you take some time to kind of rehaul a watch. But anyway, guys, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, share across the platforms, and we'll see you next week.